Hey everyone, just back from the Huntsville Ham Fest and I wanted to do a quick video to let you know and how it went. A lot of questions came up of course about version 6.9. I'm going to run through an installation here and give you an update. I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Hammerio Deluxe. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Well, greetings everyone. We're back from Huntsville. Um, the XYL Tammy, KB9YHU and I went over to Huntsville. It's always a good show, a lot of fun. Great people over there. And um, we took only version 6.9 demo stations over for the event. And um, lots of people had a chance to get on them and kick them around. Uh, a lot of great feedback. Um, I guess if I'm offering any kinds of reflections on it, um, there are a lot of people that have been really patient. We really appreciate that. Um, I know it's been a long time coming, but it's going to be worth the wait. There are a few people that uh, were not very kind, and uh, they ended up being able to talk to the XYL. She's a lot better at that than I am. But uh, anyway, it worked out really well. It's a good show. Um, two days makes it quite right, you know, give us the ability to drive back and forth from Dallas to Huntsville where it went pretty well. One of the questions that came up a lot in the context of 6.9 is, how will it convert my database or what do I have to do? So I thought what I'd do is kind of show you around um, that installation process. And I'll do that in just a second, but let's look at the tally board, so to speak, and see where we are with the 6.9 uh, beta testing. Three weeks ago, before we went to Huntsville, uh, the open number was 39 and then uh, while we were at the ham fest or just before we went over it was at 24 it's now down to 17 items so there are nine items ready to test and that's what the team will be working on as we go through um, the remainder of this week and uh, if I go back over and look at what's what's already in the bucket um, there are 474 items that have been completed now it doesn't mean that those aren't all defects they're not all bugs um, you can see the list of things down here but uh, the net of it is is that uh, as you do when you're redeveloping code or writing code from scratch you create things along the way that need to be fixed so that's why the number is a little bit high the team's gone through that pretty efficiently so uh, nine items to test 17 items to get through and um, I'll talk a little bit about that here in a second probably so this is version 6.8 right so this looks a lot like what you're using and uh, if I click this you can see I've got two databases I've got a very small Australian database from when I was over in Australia I didn't operate much um, and then this is my log um, with my US call sign so I've got both of these logs and so there were questions about what do I have to do when I do the 6.9 installation? Do I have to? No, you don't have to do anything. I would say, though, um, if it were me, out of the abundance of caution, I would open up each one of the log books and I would just simply click the backup button, let it run the backup, and then uh, go over to the other one or other ones if that's if you've got multiple ones and and just click the backup button, get the backups. The process of doing the installation does not modify your existing log. Um, all it really does is it imports it, basically. So it's going to take a backup of your log and it import it into the new log. And then, um, you know, if you ever had to go back or get that log, it's still intact. It's still where it was. So um, let's, let's run through that install process. So I'm going to start by closing this all down. Of course, I only had um, I only had logbook and rig control open, so I'm going to go start the installer for the beta version of the current beta version, and um, we'll run through that one. Of course, you get the um, EULA, and now we're going to run through the common components that get the um, you know they got to be there to make sure that the the access databases if you have them are going to get converted 
hey, let me toss in a quick message. You need stuff, and we want to help you find it. Go to Amazon.com slash shop slash Ham Radio Deluxe, and you can find everything from interfaces for your radios, ICOM gear, Yaesu gear, rotors, antennas, networking for home labels that work with our program. You can find station PCs. I get this question all the time. You can get a really beefy computer for under $330 that comes with Windows 11. Find us on Amazon.com slash shop slash Ham Radio Deluxe. Get the stuff you need. Now back to our video. All right, so then you get to the uh, end of the installation process. And if it's the first time you've run this, you'll get a message that says, you can launch the logbook database migration wizard. So you wanna do that. So I'm gonna click on next. And this is showing that it found the two databases that I pointed out earlier. And I'm gonna leave those both checked. Now, if you decide not to check them, I don't know why you would, but you can run this later again from within logbook and we'll click continue it's going to show me that it's going to overwrite any existing databases if for example i've run this more than once and i want to just run it again from scratch um, but there aren't any existing ones to overwrite so it's going to create them anyway and then the process runs like this And then it's converted your databases and we're good to go. Then I'm going to click close. And then the program launches that is, as it normally does. And there we go. Now I got, uh, I got to correct the layout a little bit here, um, which I'm not going to mess with right now very much, but um, you can Kind of see, I'm using a, a screen that's a little bit narrower than what I normally use. But, um, you know, the, I, the, the layouts is actually an item that's on the list that we'll get to. Um, but that's what it takes to get it installed. And so, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's that bit. I mean, I can uh, walk around some of the features, like try to dark theme. This is the dark theme view. And... Um, you can see the table layouts on the left hand side. It's relatively fast, as I mentioned before. Um, if I configured um, QRZ lookup on this one, this is a test machine, but it would put the pictures over here. But anyway, that's what the installation process looks like. More to come once we get down to the remaining few items, and uh, we're excited to get it out, like I said, down to 17 items. but. This is where we're at. Won't be long. Be worth, uh, be worth the wait. I guarantee you that. So, 73, everyone. Talk to you soon. I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo.